Hello and welcome again to Viewpoint. My name's Ian Beaumont. Thank you very much for joining us here today. I'm crossing the pond briefly um, on this edition to at least deal with something that is coming up uh, across in the United States and something not in Washington, uh, not Washington dysfunction, but Albany dysfunction. Albany, you say, where's that? Albany is in the state of New York. It is actually the administrative headquarters of New York State. Yeah, New York may be the biggest city, but the government is not based, the, the state government is not based there. It's based in a town called Albany, New York. And yesterday there was a coup, a shake-up. Well, I don't know. What do you make of this? This was how it happened, and I'm picking up my information here from local sources, CBS, WCBS 880, and WCBS 2, uh, Channel 2 in New York, and this is what's happened. This is what happened. Apparently at about 3.20 p.m. yesterday afternoon, excuse me, Republican Senator Thomas Libus of Broome County offered an unexpected resolution to the Democrats who have had a 32-30 majority in the state Senate since January. Now, the, the content shocked the Democrats as they learned that of the plan in at least five weeks in the making. It would make Democratic Senator Pedro Espada the president of the Senate and make Republican leader Senator Dean Skelos the majority leader of the chamber's top two posts. The resolution was rejected as out of order. Libus appealed the ruling. All 30 Republicans raised their hands, along with Espada and Democratic Senator Hiram Monserrat. Five minutes passed, but the chair running the meeting, Democratic Senator Neil Breslin, wouldn't count or record the vote. Um, a couple minutes later, Libba says to Breslin, I've waited seven, several minutes, it's only a matter of counting. Democratic Senator Eric Schneiderman whispered to Democrats, we're all moving very quickly as soon as there is a motion to adjourn. Liebus, uh at 3.35 then moved to remove Breslin because he wouldn't act. Klein, another senator, then says, I move that we adjourn. Roll call, roll call, Libus shouted, calling for the adjournment vote to be counted and windmilling his hand to keep Republicans moving the process before it could be derailed. Um... Republican Senator George Winner then takes the seat vacated by Breslin as Democrats leave the chamber. Chamber lights turn off for one minute, and then apparently in a Republican only ch in a chamber where there were only Republicans and two Democrats, thirty Republicans, two Democrats, Espada and Skelos are elected. The coalition votes all leadership and committee assignments made by the Democrats in January. Well, the governor is not happy. Happy Governor of New York is called David Patterson, um, and he's quoted as saying, "Once again, Albany dysfunction has raised its ugly head," um, and he's called it despicable because it disrupts the last two weeks of the session. Um, Senator Libus, who was involved in all that says this is historic there is going to be reform you're going to see things you've never seen in Albany Wow um, Democrat leader Malcolm Smith of Queens who was elected majority leader in January referred to the action as uh, referred to drama scholars action by the Republicans he says and I quote there was an illegal vote taken let me be very clear very clear, the Senate majority is in Democratic hands. He said he won't reconvene the session until the coalition drops its challenge to the leadership. Um, it's a mess. It's a total mess right now. Um, the Democrats had held the Senate for barely five months after being out of power for four decades in New York. Four decades of Republican rule, and then they make a power grab like this. Um, they're expected to challenge Monday's action in court. I don't know if they will uh, succeed, but basically, 
um, my view on all this is that it just shows the depths once again that the Republicans will go to in order to get their own way. They're not interested. They're not really interested in reform. I don't believe that for a second. They've had 40 years of being able to reform. It hasn't happened. So I don't believe this is going to happen. I don't believe there's going to be any reform. I believe we're just going to see more of the same Republican um, bully boy tactics that we have seen time and again in Republican politics in the United States. Enough is enough. Now, this was a coup, um, a pure power play for no other reason than to get themselves elected. It's not on. You know, the Democrats won the election for the New York Senate fair and square, 32 to 30. Close, yes. But it was a fair election. And why the Republicans cannot just say, all right, well, fine, we'll just have to try harder the next time the election comes around. I don't know. But this smells of bully boy and power grabbing rather than getting on with the democracy that um, the Republicans claim they cherish so much, yet have shown both in national politics in the previous administration and now here in New York that they seem more interested in power for themselves rather than democracy. That's Viewpoint. I'm Ian Beaumont. Um, I'll have another edition very soon as we review the elections that have taken place in Europe, the UK and Ireland last week. I'll have full analysis on that very shortly. In the meantime, stay sharp, stay tuned. Goodbye for now.